I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 110-17ISK also known for a model name 80VL. Those information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the sticker on the bottom. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can replace your keyboard if your keyboard is not working or you spill some water and some keys are not working. These are not repairable. You can only replace the whole keyboard. It comes with a power on switch built in the keyboard. It's really, really easy to replace the keyboard. You can do it really under five minutes. And I'm gonna cover this in this video, how to do it at home. You can do this process. I'll try to get the link for the new keyboard. I'll put it in my video description. Also, I'll put the link for the tools that I'll be using. All right, so let's get it started. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop. You wanna close it down. You wanna flip it upside down. And down here, you wanna grab a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. You're going to use a Phillips number one. You will need an opening tool also. If you get the Pro set, you will get an opening tool. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. We're going to remove two screws on the bottom cover. One right here and one right here in the middle. There's no other screws in the middle. So go ahead and remove these two screws. The screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. We're gonna open it back up. And right now, we're gonna grab the opening tool. We're gonna stick it between the keyboard and the palm rest right there. Stick it right in there and pull it towards the screen. You wanna hear a tiny clicks. Do this for every two or three centimeters. Do it and pull it up a little bit gently. Don't pull it too hard. And keep doing it while you're pulling it up slowly and unhook the hooks on the upside and the cover from the middle, bring it up and it will release itself. Now you wanna bring it up and you wanna pull it toward the screen to release these hooks under here. And on this side, once you bring it back enough, you're gonna see a flex cable. To remove this flex cable, put your fingernail right in here and pull it 90 degrees upward. Now you wanna pull this flex cable backward. If you pull it straight back, close to the case, it's not gonna come out. You have to lift it 45 degree upward and then it's gonna come out really easy. The reason is because it has a little ear lobes on the side of the uh, flex cable. Those, that's why you have to go in 45 degree and then towards the motherboard. All right, the model for this keyboard, I'll give you the part number for the Lenovo. It's 5N20L25, let me see, 25943. So that's 5N20L25943. And the other model number is an LCM15L5. So you can check your exact model number in here. So you, have, you probably have an Spanish, this is a Spanish one, you probably have English, so yours is gonna be a little bit different numbers. So once you get the new keyboard in, all you wanna do to grab the flex cable, first bring it in this position. Make sure it just lays down on this side and comes like this and you want to flip it over. Bring it in an offset position just like this. You want to open up the lock. You want to bring it down inside the lock, inside the jack in 45 degree angle. Make sure the ear lobes goes all the way in. And then once it's in there, you want to push it towards the motherboard and then lock it down. You want to grab from the middle, put the bottom side of the keyboard under the palm rest. And then hold it from the top side with uh, the one centimeter of the height. And put this side down so it has a kind of curvature. It makes it easy to go in. Push the other side in. And then let go of the middle top. And just squeeze down the top row. Be careful with the power on. You don't want to turn it on right now. And then just make sure it clicks in. Now you want to close up the screen. And the last thing down here is to put the two screw that you removed from the bottom of the laptop. And this is how you replace your keyboard for your Lenovo IdeaPad 110-17ISK. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, if you like this video, you can click that like and subscribe to support the channel. I'll really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.